In this video, we'll be showing you guys how to use the mobile operation center, how to buy the mobile operation center, and some tips and tricks you guys can use to get the most out of your MOC. So hopefully this guide helps beginning players or players that want to learn stuff about the MOC. So we've already purchased an MOC. I will show you guys how to do that here in a moment, but you can actually pick up your MOC from your bunker. So I do recommend you have a bunker. You're probably going to need a bunker before purchasing this vehicle if you want to get the most out of it. And once you're in your bunker with your MOC, you can actually press right on the D-pad to do little customizations like getting some color on there and liveries and stuff like that, upgrades, performance upgrades, etc. So definitely go ahead and upgrade your MOC in there. I'm not going to go through upgrading it because there's not too much in there that you're going to need to see i do have the phantom custom variant of this so it's not too armored at the front but the back of it can take up to 10 buzzard missiles so this thing's pretty tanky and that means it can take even more mark ii missiles so this thing has definitely become a fan favorite for defending against mark ii oppressors if you guys want to go ahead and buy one you can press up on the d-pad then go ahead and go to raw stock cash and carry and then go to the mobile operation center now i've already purchased mine so yours is going to cost a little bit more because you're going to be buying the phantom custom which will cost you one million two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars but you guys can go ahead and pick up the hauler custom for 1.4 million i definitely recommend spending the extra two hundred thousand ish dollars to get the hauler variant but again if you don't want to spend that little extra money go ahead and wait for a sale but again you're not going to be using this too often now i have multiple different configurations because you can actually buy different bays each bay can be customized to a different type of bay so so everyone's MOC will be different. This is not the layout I recommend for you guys. I just want you guys to take a look at why. So we're going to buy this customization of the base and you'll actually have a good idea of what it will look like and you'll actually see why I don't recommend this here in a bit. So we went with the command center as the first one, living quarters as the second one, and then personal storage as the back one. The personal vehicle storage is okay. You can see here it just literally lets you put your car in the back. It's kind of useless. Got the old retro allergy custom the only one i have in the game big og vehicle there in the living quarters you can actually change your clothes if you really need another place to change your clothes you guys can go ahead and do that i don't see the value in that uh, we haven't done that in a very very long time because i wear the same outfit all the time but if you are going to go ahead and change your clothes all the time there's so many other places you can do it it's not really worth it and then if you register as a ceo you can use this tv here to complete the mobile operations center missions now you guys can go ahead and launch these missions and these are all the missions you do for these specific vehicles to get the actual discounts on them so if you want a discount on certain parts of the moc or a discount on your mark II oppressor you complete those two missions at the bottom and this just gets you the trade price for all these vehicles highly recommend you guys go ahead and complete all of these one because it's good content and two well again it's going to save you a lot of money when you go to purchase these vehicles in the future so definitely go ahead and do that and then you'll see you'll be able to sit down and sleep at these locations not too much going on in here overall moving on to the last section and this is the command center now this is the one place i do recommend you keep when you actually set up your moc so the command center allows you to have these mounted turrets on the actual trailer of the cab and it's pretty fun they're pretty explosive and it takes one shot to kill a normal vehicle and a few shots to kill an armored vehicle depending on which vehicle it is because again armor rating is different for every vehicle but overall pretty good it's about a one second fire rate so it's nothing crazy but you can have like a few turrets on the vehicle i think it's two you get on the moc so it's pretty guarded uh, help you take out mark II oppressors if you have good aim help you take out different aircrafts and people following you plus you have that tankiness of this actual vehicle so it's overall a good vehicle to get from point a to point b and this thing actually picks up quite a bit of speed so you'll be able to uh defend yourself pretty well if you have some teammates in the back manning those turrets yeah you'll you'll do pretty well for yourself again you have this computer in this section so you don't need the living quarters to actually complete these missions so command center is definitely a great buy so you see here i went back and i improved our build here and this is what i would recommend you are going to get in the second bay you're going to keep the first bay as the command center and then in the second bay you're going to buy the vehicle workshop and it says it's a double sized bay and will you will lose your existing bay three that is okay so just take bay two as weapon and vehicle workshop and as bay one 
get the command center this is the build you guys want to have this is the best build you guys want to take command center as bay one and then the bay two is going to have the vehicle and weapon workshop you're getting the best of both worlds for a fraction of the cost so make sure you guys go ahead and pick that up now if you want to go in your interaction menu go to services and then go to the moc you'll be able to request your moc and do a whole bunch of other things you can kick people out of the cab kick people out of the trailer you can do all that fun stuff but now that we have gone and requested that so we don't have to go to our bunker every time you'll see the new improved cab so this is the hauler custom cab i definitely recommend it it looks way cooler and you'll see i pull up my insurgent to the back of the moc on the blue circle and press right on the d-pad and it takes me into this area where i can actually customize i can customize the horn obviously customize paint jobs which is again very very nice i already have a custom paint job if you want to unlock some of these paint jobs you have to do the research in the bunker that's something a lot of players don't understand so if you want to get some of these cool paint jobs that's where you guys go ahead and unlock them you can add the proximity mines you can change your suspension I've done all this stuff already years and years ago you guys can upgrade your windows your gun to unlock the cool gun you have to do that in research too it's definitely worth the time to get the research for the better gun for the insurgent if you're going to be using it upgrade your windows and all kinds of stuff. Armor plating is another thing that requires you to do research. Now medium looks better, but it's not. The reason why is because the windows are actually not bulletproof on a medium, as well as the defense for the turret driver or the turret guy manning the gun is way better. The armor plating on the back for heavy armor is the way to get your insurgent uh, maxed out. Just take the heavy armor. I know that has nothing to do with this, but a lot of people are taking medium because it looks good and it's actually not better. And then since this is a double cab, you actually have your weapon workshop and this was one of the first places you could get your Mark II weapons. So definitely recommend you guys go ahead and get that there. It's just a convenient another place to have an area where you can get your Mark two weapons upgraded and then again we have the command center and you can change your outfit here so there's no reason to have that personal living quarters other than having it as a spawn point and by this point you probably have multiple spawn points as well and then real quick shout out to this guy because this guy's been around for a long time he's helped us upgrade our weapons upgrade our vehicles back in the day so we're gonna take a quick selfie with this guy but overall this video should help you guys understand what this vehicle is used to do it's used to customize personal vehicles that are specialty vehicles like your insurgent and those other vehicles that are done on research so your mark one oppressor and other fancy vehicles like the dune buggy with the turret on there and everything like that so hopefully this guide has helped you understand what the moc does for unlocking those missions good turrets and armor and all that and has all that customization don't forget to take the command center in bay one and then take that double bay in bay two you guys will definitely save yourself some money and some stress so if you like the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching